So we're sitting here in the Accountability Society uh, for the Faith of Society. And Kelly was just talking about a really important topic. And we said, oh, we should go live. Go to Kelly, you've got to share that message. And it was about taking that time during COVID, during a pandemic, to stop and go just a little bit slower. Because as women, Kelly, you were saying too, that we um, were serving everybody else. Yeah. We're running around being busy because if we're not busy, we're not feeling productive. <laughs> so tell us a little bit too what you were saying, because that was such an important message, because I have a feeling a lot of other ladies are going to be able to relate to this. Mm -hmm. Well, what happened for me is I, I was able to kind of like finally slow down and really listen. And I, I really believe that, um, a lot of me being busy, busy, busy all the time and having things to do was in, in a lot of ways, certainly detrimental to my own health. And mm -hmm. I am a message of health. I mean, I'm trying to teach people how to age healthfully. It is my mission in life to share this message. So I had to really look at it and kind of look at the crumbling that was happening inside of me right. and what was what what happened for me during the pandemic is all of a sudden i had to go inside and slow down and look around and so the busy person in me is looking around looking at the walls going we need some paint i have got to rearrange this i need new floors I'm... so i'm trying to change my environment right yeah well spending time alone and really getting whacked down like all of us have and i i really wanted to honor and say that COVID wasn't good for a lot of people because um, a lot of people suffered. And I felt a little bit of guilt in, not guilt, but should I say this? It was good for me. And what it did is it slowed me down. Like God has to do is whack me on the ground. So give me a global plant pandemic to do it and go listen to my soul. And what is it I need to do to move forward? I'm a people person. So being without people it, during this, where I was in my own home, in my, you know, putting a mask on when I went out, hiding was not my nature. Right. And so I really had to step inside and go, okay, now what is it? What is my next journey? What is it that I want? What am I good at? What, it, what, you know, what do people say to each of you? What, are you? what are you too much of? Because maybe that's my gift. You know, maybe I am too busy. Maybe I am too social. That's what I think. Maybe I'm too social. Well, maybe that is a gift. And maybe I need to rechannel it and get, and we, we, you know, we talked about before we did this, we all give to other people. But when, you know, what about mama? You know, mm -hmm. shouldn't we serve ourselves first so our cup is full? Yeah. And so you were saying that this was creating a new foundation. And I'd like to hear from the other ladies too, yeah. kind of, what is your take on this? Melissa, do you have a, a thought? Yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> I would, when Kelly was talking about that, I was just like, uh, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I, we're, I think we're a lot the same and just always giving yeah. and giving and giving to others. And I was in this uh, retreat one time and she said, write down, on a piece of paper, all the people that you love. So, you know, I'm writing mom, dad, kids, husband, friends, you know, and she's like, did you write yourself? No, I didn't. I didn't even write myself, you know, so it's just like that realization, but um, I love that. And I love, I love uh, Jody's you are loved sign behind her. Um, but yeah, we have to take care of ourselves first. So we can, so then we can, give to others i love that yeah mothers don't do that enough you know no we don't i was gonna add also that it it reminded me when you were talking about the pandemic kind of being the prompt or the like the setting event for you to have to reflect more kind of like it forces us to and yeah. that happens a lot with a lot of the moms i work with it's a lot of them are going through extra challenges and kind of this idea of extra, extra hard things and extra. And I, I was relating to that concept of being extra, being too much, you know, going out there and like having that sense of like, that's, 
partly that's our role to go out and do, but then being able to be like you were saying, like maybe the areas where you're too much are your strengths, right? And then that is not always the way we think of it. And so that was really, that really helped me. But I was also thinking that sometimes those extra challenges are, they do provide an easy excuse for people to not go into ourselves and take care of ourselves. Like, you know, if you're dealing with family stuff going on, your natural response is to take care of all of that. And it just sets you up for not focusing on yourself. And it's, you know, that, that pattern can happen. So those were the two kind of ideas that I was, that I was thinking about that really, I don't know, reflecting on that is so important sometimes to just be like, okay, what really matters here? You know, yeah. you know, yeah. when, I no- when I noticed it, when I sat and was still and I looked around and I noticed it because my parents, both my parents died very close together, like the year before the pandemic. And I was pretty much their caretaker. And I noticed how busy I got, you know, we got to clean the kitchen. I got to get rid of this. I got to get to the bank. I got to get the stuff organized. I got to get you to the doctor. And I got busy and I was doing circles around everybody else that was around trying to help. And it was my way of escaping a bit, the emotion that was behind it, because I just, you know, I realized what was happening and I was in the moment, but I also didn't take care of myself during that time. And uh, I had some post-traumatic stress from that. Mm -hmm. Yes, but Kelly, this is what I love what you were saying though, is that through this time, because so you were super busy, you had a lot of things going, you were caring for your parents and they passed and dealing with all the emotion. You had a daughter who got married and or two, two daughters. daughters, two daughters who got married and, and now you're a grandmother all within a couple year period. So that is a lot of life to happen. But what I loved that you said was that you, during the pandemic, it forced you to take that time to reflect and you feel like you have a new foundation. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would be really interested in hearing if other women feel that way too, that you feel you have a new foundation because I can see as we meet in our accountability society, I can see that in you, Kelly. And I can see that in Jody with what she's doing. And Melissa, she's creating her new platform. Um, I feel like ladies are coming in. It's like, okay, you know what? I got this. We got these, we've got these new foundations. We're going to just take it a little bit easier and we're just going to move forward. Mm-hmm. And I think because we're entrepreneur, entrepreneurs as well, you know, we're business people as well, we're mothers, we, we're used to multitasking. So we're used to being the, the busyness of it mm-hmm. all. But I think really to, to now just look at it a little differently, like, okay, my most important thing today should probably be to go take a bath with some of those essential oils you were talking about. <laughs> I got mine right here. (laughs) Because if I serve me and fill up my well, you know, if that well is full, I got more to give to you guys, you know. Yeah. So Uh, what is what is something that each of you ladies feel like this week you just need to kind of just stop for a second and take time? I know for myself, I have to give myself permission to stop and just plan rather than go, 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 go on social media and all that kind of stuff. How about you, Jody? Yeah, I was gonna say that when you were talking about that foundation and what's taking me to the next step is I really feel like I had to get to know myself. You know, that's, that's the other thing that we lose when we, when we're overdoing all the things. Right. And so I think for this week particular, I was thinking I have this extra time that I don't typically have. And so I just want to be able to like have conversations. I'm holding an extra one Wednesday night Um, just for moms where it's a safe space. And we did one a couple of weeks ago and it was such a wonderful evening where moms just came together and we had kind of an initial topic about loving when it's hard to love. And so that was the opening topic. And then moms, there were five moms there and they just exchanged stories and supported each other. And it was such a safe, loving place where you could connect with other moms and talk about things that sometimes aren't comfortable to talk about in the Starbucks line. 
somewhere, <laughs> you know, and, um, and then also it was, you know, it's just, I think, taking time for ourselves just to even like reflect on things you know, we just don't do it enough. So I'm, I'm really excited. I'm going to have that this week, but also just thinking of other ways I can offer those spaces, even yeah. if it's in my posts or my videos or those kind of things. So, yeah. So what, what is it? What is your topic for this week? This week, we're talking about guilt, getting over Ooh. guilt, <laughs> right? Yeah. Make sure you put the information because okay. I think that, I yes, <laughs> yeah, I know who, who, I feel guilty about everything. <laughs> it's okay, such we a could go default on forever. emotion for us. It's yeah. totally a default emotion. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And awesome. those little stuff. stories that we tell ourselves, that little guilt thing, that's the little monkey that you got to turn that around with some sort of affirmation or you got to get that guy out of there because mm -hmm. that's your little, your little shadow monkey. <laughs> I like, yeah, I like that. Right. I know what I like to think about when I have a guilt thought come up is that instead of like trying to get rid of it or replace it, I try to think that it's like an indicator light, like when your car comes on and it's like, okay, if I'm having that indicator light, then what is it trying to illuminate for me that I, that I want, yeah. not that I don't want, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. what do I want instead? And so I just try to think of it that way. And that's yeah. been helping me lately. Yeah. Flip it. Because yeah. I bet Ooh. a lot of moms think they're not a good mom. That's it. Because they're they are working on their business. They're doing other things. They're totally that, they gotta fix that first. That's and it. know that they're a good mom and they're setting an example or whatever it is. Get your brain to believe. And this is why. Give it some give it some um information, fuel, the proof that they are yeah. a good mom. Find that. And then switch that and everything else just will fall into place. Yeah. There's that exactly. cup that we got to fill up. <laughs> yes. So Melissa, so do you feel like you have created a new foundation? Because I know your word for the year was clarity. Yeah. And uh, to see the progression is really beautiful. As, as you become clear and it pivots a little bit, but then you come clear and this and this. But it, I feel like you have created a, a good foundation of, of key words and key things that you, of your gifts. Totally, totally, yeah. Just like what Kelly was saying before we hopped on here, COVID has, has done amazing for me because I, I was just go, 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 go. And I, it took that, it, it took <laughs> having the world to shut no down yeah. for me to just, oh, okay, what am I doing? What's mm -hmm. going on? what do I want? Like, I am just like, I had so much clarity this year and, and thinking like, I didn't know what I wanted. So why was it coming? To, it wasn't coming to me because I didn't know what I wanted. And until I went through that transformation of, I know what I want. And now I, I'm just putting it out there saying, this is what I want. And it's just coming too fast now that I can't keep up. <laughs> Yeah, but you got the world to shut down again. Yeah. But <laughs> my word also yeah. was clarity for the year. Yeah. That's oh, interesting. We have so many similarities. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, ladies, what a great conversation. We're going to have to do this again. We're going to have to create a little show or something so we can get uh, have some conversations because, you know, I learned so much about you and, and th thank you for sharing some of your heart and your, um, your, your wisdom um, here. So thanks, ladies. And uh, we meet weekly at the Accountability Society at Faith Biz Society. Um, so ladies, if you'd like a free pass, come join us. Yep. All right. Yeah.